Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a new tutorial series on my channel about React.js and in this video we are going to talk about what React is and why you should learn it. React is very popular among our industry, so if you are going to be a front-end developer, I believe learning React is very important, so let's get started. Okay, so currently we are looking at the official documentation of React.js and if you like, you can also learn from here. So if you want to check this documentation out, I have put down the link in the description below. So once you visit this documentation, you see here a sentence. And this is the straightforward answer to the question, what React is. It's a very straightforward, right to the point answer. So React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. Maybe some of you guys may not exactly understand what does this sentence mean, so let me explain that. First of all, React is a JavaScript library. So what does a JavaScript library mean? So a JavaScript library is a pre-written JavaScript code allowing us to work with JavaScript in a much easier and faster way. So if you are developing a JavaScript project, writing pure vanilla JavaScript may not be that good. You should either use a library like React or jQuery, or you can use a framework like Angular or Vue.js because they allow us to work with JavaScript in a much easier and faster way. So that's why if you are developing JavaScript projects, you should either use a library or a framework. Another important thing here is that you shouldn't learn React if you don't know JavaScript because then you're not going to understand what React really does. So that's why if you don't have any idea what JavaScript is, you should first learn at least some level of JavaScript and then you can start learning React. So please do not try to learn React before JavaScript. All right, now the second part is that React allows us to build user interfaces. So what does a user interface mean? Very simple. For example, this website and what we see here is the view part, the user interface part. So what React does is it helps us to build a website or an application like what we currently see here. If you use React for building user interfaces, then the application or the user interface can be dynamic and component-based. I will shortly explain what this means. All right, so let's move on with the second question, which is why you should learn React or what are the advantages of React? Well, first of all, since React is a library, obviously it helps us to write JavaScript in a much easier way. Another advantage is that React is easy to learn. If you are already familiar with JavaScript or maybe even with Angular or Vue.js, then you will probably find learning React easier than them because it has a smaller learning curve. Likewise, Angular or Vue.js, React also has a component-based logic. So let's talk about the component-based architecture a little bit. The component-based logic is today's popular way for building user interfaces because they are basically easier to write and manage. So a component is basically an independent reusable code block which contains HTML, CSS and JavaScript all together, which divides the user interface into smaller pieces and they are reusable as well. So once you create a component, if you need to use it later, you can use the component as many times as you want. So that's why today all of the modern frameworks and libraries are using component-based technologies and React also is one of them. And one of the biggest advantages of React is that it is really, really fast. So if you are in the web development field, you should be familiar with the DOM, which is the document object model. The document object model is basically a representation of the HTML code in a web page. Now, normally when you need to make a change or when something changes in the code, the page needs to refresh itself. Each time you make a change in the code or maybe something needs to be sent to the server or maybe a response needs to come back, then the page refreshes itself, which means that the DOM will be completely updated and rewritten. 
So this is a very expensive operation and it consumes also a lot of time. In this point, React provides a good solution, which is the virtual DOM. So the virtual DOM is actually the explanation of why React is so fast. So what is the virtual DOM? So first of all, React creates an exact copy of the DOM. Then once a change is being made, React figures out which part is new. Let's say something has changed on the sidebar. So React makes the comparison and figures out that something in the sidebar has changed. So once React figures out that something has changed on the sidebar, it updates only that specific part, only the sidebar on the virtual DOM. And then it copies the updated part, which, is, which has happened on the virtual DOM, to the actual DOM, rather than completely updating and rewriting it. So this approach makes the web page much faster than a standard web page. And that's why React is so fast. And the last advantage, but definitely not the least, is that definitely helps you to find a job much easier and faster. Because today's web projects are either being written with Angular or with React, and maybe some of them are still using jQuery if they are older ones, or some of them are using Vue.js. So if you know one of these three, Angular, React, or Vue.js, then it definitely helps you to find a job as a front-end developer. So I believe that's enough of a background information of React. Now let's begin with installing our first React project and making the configuration of our environment, which I'm going to show the details in the very next video. So stay tuned guys and thank you for watching.